a little backstory on how the uh, GMC Jimmy was uh, found. I literally just walked into Pick and Pull, saw it there for sale. There was a lot of people there that had interest in it. Um, I called my uncle, he was interested in it, and we knew it was going to sell quick, so I just bought it right then and there on the spot, and literally as soon as I finished the paperwork, some guy walked in, cash in hand, ready to get it. Anyways, here's the video, I'm going to show you guys some footage of us going to pick it up. Here it is, it's the uh, blazer, it's not too bad, little uh, carpet here fell down, but not bad, the upper part of the door panel's all in pretty good shape here we just need to get the actual little clip things again not a big deal here's the hole inside there's your radio there's your switch for the window up down I guess there you uh, marked it Let's see if it moves now the battery might be dead on it uh, these GM keys are tiny oh, I think this is ignition no Probably this one. There you go. Unlock that. Tells you fashion seatbelts. Oh, it does something. Here's Hunter's truck. I don't know the exact year off the top of my head. I know it's 80s, but it's a F350. It's got the 69 IDI. The turbo let's get the dana 60 up front dana 70 in the rear it's got a four speed in it i think it's like a zv4 is what it's called i don't know again i'm not a ford guy but there it is four speed it's overall not not a bad truck <laughs> what was that just revving it anyways we're going off to pick and pull yes who we are sold let me just give it a nice unlock steering wheel doesn't lock on us okay steering wheel's loose so we're good roll down the window nice can't wait let's get the sucker up Uh, my uncle rigged it up so we can uh, pull the tie rods because the wheels before were like this so we're able to straighten them out and get them a bit more centered so it should be a lot easier to push. Overall, not bad.
Well guys, this thing's a pretty solid. I know it's not a, a first generation Jimmy, but it's okay. These are still pretty nice. It's got a pretty good good condition top too. It's overall a, a nice truck. Disc or drum brakes in the rear, discs up front. She's not too bad. And we got this uh, Dodge over here. Little short bed, small block. Uh, there it is. I don't know, it's a 318, most likely, I'm assuming. Yeah, it's a 318. There it is. 318. But yeah, she's not too bad. It's a solid little truck. A little bit of a rust up here though. They bondoed it, but she's not too bad. She's a clean little Dodge. It's a 318. It's not too bad in condition. 318, four barrel with an electric fan. Yeah, I see that. Can't believe it was just donated off like this. Someone would buy wow. it. The whole roof's garbage. Yeah. Drop it, make it a convertible. Make it convertible. And we got this old Benz over here. What? Is this like Valdos? No. His is way older, right? Mm -hmm. His is 60s? No, we... Diesel? This is a diesel. We have a copy oh. of this in the yard. Really? Yeah. Yep. Look at that door. Listen to that door. So nice. It's a cool Benz, but it's been sitting for a while. Anyways, gates open. Right? Got a little hot rod over there. So here you can, um, the easiest way will be left if you want to. So we're, we're already in the left line, but yeah, you're good. Just go straight, but you'll want to change lanes. Yeah, you're clear. See if my uncle revs the frontier.
Yeah. Oh, that tire's fucked. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Paulo, close the windows. 